Everybody says hoarding is bad. But then you see chumps getting rich on the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> A few years ago I had the sudden realization that I grew up in a hoarder house. My parents were hoarders. <laughs> At the time it seemed completely normal. There was shit everywhere. But my parents called it a collection. <laughs> it wasn't insane. It wasn't as if we were sleeping on garbage bags filled with spatulas. We had beds. Each bed did have three headboards. I thought my friends were poor because they only had one. We had a three-car garage, but you could barely park a bike in it. There was a pathway that led from the garage door past the boxes of size 14 construction boots through the pile of unmatched socks around the trough of Hungarian butt plugs and into the house. There are corners of that garage that I had never seen in my 18 years living there. Sure, when the zombie apocalypse comes, they'll have the last laugh when headboards are worth more than gold. <laughs> to a hoarder, everything horizontal looks like a shelf. A bed looks like a huge shelf. And it's hard to resist filling it up. We weren't as bad as my grandma, though. She was the queen of hoarders. She didn't need shelves. She would just stuff a room and lock the door. And she had money. She would pick up a catalog and start ordering. Her favorite catalog was Finger Hut. One time she ordered 500 salt and pepper shakers. I got salt and pepper shakers for every Christmas. So did the rest of my family. And all our friends. It's nice to know that my children and their children's children will never be in want of salt and pepper shakers. We also got spatulas and corn on the cob holders shaped like little penguins. My uncle, who lived with my grandma, would give us piles of gifts for Christmas. Most of it from Radio Shack. Most of it junk. Radio Shack declared bankruptcy when he died. The last hurrah was right before he passed over to the great mini mall in the sky. He started ordering massive amounts of exotic meats to all his family and friends. For a week, we would come home and the front door would be blocked by piles of sliced wolf dick. I'm still eating the sandwiches. Thank you. I'm David Potter, 47.